What's going on guys? All right, Christian here from CK Wraps. Now I'm gonna show you how to wrap a two-piece mirror. Uh, this mirror is a mirror cap. So we're gonna wrap this in two pieces uh, because of this angle that we have right here. It doesn't make any sense to do this in one piece. It will most likely fail. Don't use primer because you don't need to and you don't need to wrap this in one piece. And I'll explain why in a moment, guys. And also what I wanna say before we get going is if you guys appreciate what I'm doing here, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button uh, if you wanna see more videos like this. Now, I will post a link to all the tools that I use in the description below, including the knifeless tape, uh, gloves, heat gun, that kind of stuff, uh, as much as I possibly can. That way you can just click it and get, to, get what you need. All right, so I wanna explain one thing here. The manufacturer has not made this mirror in one piece, and I'll zoom in for you right here. I just have a piece of knifeless tape here. Let's get rid of it. Um, so the manufacturer has not made this mirror in one piece. If we look very closely at the very top here, you can see a seam, a body line. Now this manufacturer has made this mirror in two pieces. My rule of thumb is that if the manufacturer can't make it in two pieces, then why should we be able to wrap it in, in sorry, if the manufacturer can't make it in one piece, then why should we, we be wrapping it in one piece? We shouldn't. So that's kind of a rule of thumb right there. You'll find that on most mirrors and mirror caps that they are seamed they are plastic welded at some points. Uh, this is a mirror cap also because we have a black plastic base right under here, which doesn't get wrapped, sorry. And then the front rim here is also black, so it doesn't get wrapped as well. I don't know if you can see that, but yes, so we have black all the way through. So we have this really fine line to cut on right at the very edge here. As long as we don't have any tension there, we'll be good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take knifeless tape, which has a string filament inside of it. You can see that. And we're gonna apply the knifeless tape as close to that body line as possible. So I'm gonna stay right on that hard edge. And follow it down. Cut off the excess. Now, what I'm gonna do is bring my mirror back out. Of course, the mirror has been prepped with isopropyl alcohol. And, uh, sorry, my phone's ringing, I don't have time to answer it. So I'm doing this video for you guys. So of course my mirror has been prepped with isopropyl alcohol and uh, obviously wiped everything down, make sure it's contaminant free. We're gonna take our Final. We're in this case, we're using customer's request gloss black, uh, Avery gloss black on the mirrors and door handles and roof. So what I like to do is I kind of stretch it across a little bit, across that knifeless tape, because we want we want the film to want to grab around the corners, around the edge, so you can see how it's just naturally grabbing right there, right? and we have no tension at this edge. I'll be able to smooth everything out, very much tension free. I apologize, the mirror doesn't uh, turn any more than this. So I can actually just use my finger. All I'm doing is keeping glass while I squeegee. Before I do any cutting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat. We're just going to make sure that we don't have any tension. Cool. So let me grab the heat gun. We're going to heat, make sure everything's solid. Excellent. So no pullback anywhere. Looks mighty fine. Next thing, what we're going to do here is I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more for you here. So you can see this. So what I wanna do right here is take the knifeless tape, pinch it, fold it, so fold, fold it over, okay? So I'm pinching it, it's folding over itself, okay? It's underneath the vinyl, as you can see right there, right there. And I wanna pinch it, so I'm gonna fold it right over the vinyl and pinch it right here. As soon as I pinch it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the vinyl, the knifeless tape, give it a quick pull, okay? This separates the filament from the actual 
tape part itself. I'm going to move the mirror back, or the camera back. And what we're going to do is show you how the rest of this goes. So, I want to keep the filament on our, nine, our 45 and keep it pulling through very smoothly. Once we finish that, we have to pull out both pieces of knifeless tape that might be lodged underneath the film. I think I got both out. I'm just going to double check. Okay, both are out. What I'm going to do now is not even touch it. I'm just going to heat it. This will allow for any pullback right off the bat. There isn't any, so we're good. Okay. That part's done. We're going to trim up the rest. So I'm going to come around this side. Excuse me while I don't show this part. I'm just trimming on that little thin body line that we have. Sorry, the thin gap. It's hard to see, I have no lighting here. Make sure everything is solid. Okay, we're solid. Now what we want to do is apply another piece of knifeless tape. Okay, this knifeless tape is going to overlap about one eighth. Try and move you in a bit here. Okay, so this knifeless tape is going to overlap about one eighth. So what I do is I run the knifeless tape right on the edge, the string will give us, sorry, this is a 16th. The tape is a 1 8th. So I'm gonna run the knifeless tape right on the edge of the gloss black. This will give us good flow and a good straight line for the next time around. Everything will match up really nicely, okay? You don't want to stretch the knifeless tape. Again, I can't stress that enough. Never stretch the knifeless tape. Perfect. Now, because I've been handling the mirror a bit, I'm going to give it a bit more of a wipe. I have isopropyl already on the rag, so I'm just going to make sure I clean up those fingerprints. And then we're going to go for the big piece right here. Okay. I did cut a piece. It's right here. So what I want to do is measure, zoom out. What I want to do is measure up about what I need. Okay, I need about that much, so we're good. I'm gonna take my, this is a bodyguard knife, which is great for cutting vinyl. And I'm going to cut this piece and reduce the size. That way we don't have too much film. Okay, so we're looking a lot better now. What I'm going to do is put the mirror back in the spot. Let's make sure I don't mess up the knifeless tape. The reason why you don't want to stretch the knifeless tape is because it doesn't stick all that great. All right, so we need to make sure that there's no stretch on the actual tape itself. Now, when it comes to this part right here, what do we want to do? We want to take it from this side because this is the point of failure usually at this end. And the top edges are usually the point of failure also. And what I'm going to do is take it, heat just a bit, and bring the vinyl across, okay? So what does that do? That actually allows the vinyl to hug the very top edge. So I don't have to stretch the vinyl up this way anymore. Wow, this piece looks really, 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 really bad. There's a lot of glue. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see all the small specks. And this is Avery, so super bad. I can't even believe actually how bad that is. So let's get another piece. It's not often you see 
specs of glue like that with Avery, but hey, we'll give it a shot again. I have another piece here. See, that's the kind of stuff that I can't deal with, so I have to, especially when it's such a small piece. If we're doing a quarter panel and that happens, okay, maybe I, we'd live with it and not redo the quarter panel. This just depends on how bad it looks, so. It shows up a little bit more on the gloss black than most colors. Okay, so again, what I'm gonna do the same thing, okay? Boom. Again, look at it, it's perfect. So I'm gonna lock all this in. I've got a little wrinkle here, no big deal. Let's get it from the bottom. Perfect. See how it's naturally coming in? So I know I have no tension on this edge. I have no tension anywhere around the mirror other than maybe down here a little bit, but that's totally fine because the way I'm gonna do this is going to be tension free, all right? So we're going to bring the vinyl down and this creates a hug around this side. So maybe I have to stretch it down a little bit more from here. There we go. And all I want to really want to be doing is putting my stretch through here and not at the very edges. Again, very, very important that we're not stretching the edges. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna shrink it. Okay, it's looking good. So I can actually work some of the vinyl back this way. Be careful with it, right? Because we can easily overstretch it. So I'm going to draw this out very gently. If we don't pull enough across, what's going to happen is we're going to have way too much slack down here, right? Shrink all this. I've just got to find the gray. It's right there. If we find that we're stretching a bit at the edges, we can just go over with a solid post heat. Yeah, we don't want to be stretching a lot, right? A little bit's okay. The vinyl will hold, but we don't want to make we don't want to make it too much, okay? So I'm just trying to find that body line in the mirror. This is the gap right here. So we use our squeegee to outline that, okay? This makes things a lot easier. I might as well cut this section now because this is a more tedious part of the process and if I mess it up, then there's no point in tearing the knifeless tape, right? So. I'm gonna use the wraps, wrap stick flex. It's gonna help a bit. Define the line because this line is very, very tight, okay? So we want to make sure you have a sharp blade for this, it's very important.
this away. There we go. Don't want to do that. Let's put that back. Okay, now we're going to cut away the rest. Take your time when it comes to this. This is a very tight edge, okay? Excellent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the top edge and then we're going to do the knife for safe because there's another tight edge at the top, okay? Perfect. So I'm going to have to start the knifeless tape. But I need to find that line. Alright, so what I'm going to do is trim the bottom and release it from the base. You might ask, is it easier to do this off the car? It is not easier to do this off the car. Okay? You need it mounted to something. Okay, let's lift the mirror, let's turn the mirror, and that's the way we can get a better pull through now. I can really see the knifeless tape. I'm gonna heat it, make sure we're all good. Okay, little to no pullback. Expose the knifeless tape. Okay, it's right here. Fold it again, okay, just like this. Pull it through. That's it. And get rid of it. Let it do its pulling back right now before we squeegee everything down. It's excellent, it's actually perfect. Can't even see that line, can you? And let's finish off the rest right here. I'm gonna cut across the top of the mirror. See if I can get you a little closer there. Right on that body line, or the gap, sorry. where it meets the black plastic frame. See how I bring myself close? We need to be able to see, okay? So body positioning is always very important. It's perfect. a little bit of CK finesse and just got to finish at the bottom a little bit just the one right here over the whole 
Swing quickly with a bit of heat. The heat is like your saving grace, okay? You want, you want to use this at the end, it's very important. If you don't, you could run into problems. Guys, and that's it. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour. Okay, so as you can see, the seam isn't really even noticeable at all. You see it? We've got full coverage. All right. All the way through. Again, it's a dark color, so even if I did miss something, it'd probably be really hard pressed to see it. That's it, guys. All right, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the mirror wrap here. Two pieces uh, made super simple, super easy, very efficient, and uh, will last probably forever. Um, this is the way to do it. If you do have a bend in your mirror that's like this, similar, you can see the sharp angle here. It actually, the mirror actually comes this way and then starts coming back this way. It's just too much. If I had more of a gradual swoop out, then that would be a different story. But again, this is actually reversing directions. So you're gonna to wanna to do a mirror just like that. Hey guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, take care.